This chain of passes around the members' wing looked promising for the Tigers, but they were never really in the hunt in the second half and lost by 39 points. In a seesawing struggle, the Tigers went on to survive a torrid last quarter in the first grand final to be decided by less than a goal since 1921. Fitzroy held out the Tigers after half time to win by 15 points, its first premiership for 22 years and its last grand final appearance since. But Wall, number two, mops up and handballs to Hutchison, who kicks the easiest of goals. A comprehensive victory for Dick Reynolds' men. In the final quarter, the Blues gradually pegged back Essendon's lead to sneak home by the narrowest of margins. The closest result in the grand final since 1903. The Bombers had beaten Melbourne twice during the season and with some ease in the second semi-final and despite the bad kicking were favoured when they led by two goals in the final quarter. The Demons had recalled veteran Jack Mueller who with Norm Smith provided a potent forward line in a low scoring match. The following week, Mueller and Smith start again as Melbourne won the flag by 39 points. Dashing down the field, he clears with a long punt as the sun comes out again. Chris Lambert punches the ball onto McEwen as the final silence sounds with victory to Essendon. As in their second semi encounter, the Cats more than doubled the Magpie score to take out the 52 flag. At the sound of the siren, the ground erupted. Don umpire runs across, indicating that uh, it was a goal and it's all over. Footscray's first ever grand final. Final scores, Footscray 15-12-102, defeating Melbourne 7-9-51. And when you get stars and superstars such as this, it's little wonder that they become legends in their own right. So the VFL that year belonged to Melbourne. And those there will never forget being part of history. Twenty-nine minutes gone. Magpies have done it. So easy for Melbourne at this stage. Barassi would be about 40 yards out on his wrong side, but not on a particularly acute angle. And there goes the siren to end what has been a disappointing game with Melbourne taking out the premiership for 1960 with a convincing victory. Signs a ball up. There's the ball. Uh, the wren comes in. There's the final siren. The final siren. 
and Hawthorne are premiers for the year 1961. Murray kick misses it, falls off his hands, there's a chance for Gill. Gill gets the ball knocked to the head of him, runs into his own teammate, handball to the front, and there's the side, and heads into the Premiers for 1962. Essendon, 13 goals, 12, 90, have defeated Carlton, 8 goals, 10, 58. There's the kick off, a chance for Lyon, Alistair orders there, and there's the side. And look at the elated Geelong camp. There's Bob Davis being congratulated by other Geelong officials. And there's the siren. Melbourne wins 8 16 64 to Collingwood's 8 12 60. Kilda 9 16 70. Chance now for St Kilda to go forward, getting the ball up towards Cooper. There goes the siren, and it's all over. And there's a very happy-looking John Coleman with his back to us in the light coat. Hit the boundary line, 28 and a half gone. There's Murray's kick to the wing position on the outer side. There's the siren, St Kilda have They've got it. Look at this. the half forward flank on the other side. But Jackson's in front of Hills in a bit. Richardson, the mark, and Richmond are Premiers, Melbourne 69. Richmond Premiers, Melbourne 69. And the final scoreboard reads, Carlton 8, 12, 60. Richmond 12, 30, 85. And the final scoreboard, Hawthorne 12 10 82, St Kilda 11 9 75. Yeah. Siren, Siren, Carlton have won it, Carlton have won it, and they're going mad here at the MCG. Mike Green comes out there, traps the ball in soccer fashion. A hand pass by Green, it'll come off. Hard pushing the ball. The Siren goes. Siren goes. Richmond are premiers for 1973. Richmond are premiers, and what a beauty! And the final scoreboard. Clayton is tackled. There is Kevin Morris. With Burns, the Siren goes. And the final scoreboard in the 74 Grand Final reads. Richmond 18, 20, 128. It's North Melbourne through Chisnell getting that ball to the half forward flank on the northern side of the ground. Trotters after it. There's the siren. Siren's gone. North Melbourne's first ever flag. And the final scoreboard now reads at the MCG in the 1975 grand final. The final scoreboard reads. North Melbourne 19, 8, 122, Hawthorne 9, 13, 67. Kicks it over the centre, up goes Malcolm Blight and takes the mark, plays on immediately, the siren goes! Hawthorne have won it! Hawthorne have won the 1976 grand final! Ireland with the ball on the half-back line. And the ball driven out there towards uh, uh, Max Richardson, picked up by a little ball, he's going for one. Can I get up down there and tell him there's the siren, I think, for the end of the game. It's a draw. It's 
a draw. The 1977 grand final is a draw. Oh, and we'll be back here next week. Oh. To come from third place on the VFL ladder after the away season. for 1978 and it is John Scott who's going to give a present to somebody in the crowd. Hawthorne have won their fourth BFL Premiership. Today, one of the good best exhibitions I've seen him give as the ball comes down to word... Uh, But there's no one there for Carlton. It doesn't matter because the Magpies have lost this match for sure. Well, there's, there's the, the siren, and Carlton have won the 1981 Grand Final. The Carlton. final scores: 12 goals, 2092 Carlton for Collingwood, 10 12, 72. And a great victory. Couldn't hold that, but there's too many defenders there for Carlton. And there's the siren, and the Blues have won the 1982 Grand Final. 14-19, the Hutton 3 cup, defeating Richmond, 12-13-85. So at the 30-minute mark, we see the score. There's the silent the Hawthorne Premiers from 1883. And a fine effort. There's their coach, Alan Jeans. And what a happy man. It couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Now, full marks as the ball goes down there, but a mark to Danaher. Into this quarter by just on 35 minutes, there's the siren. Essendon winning their first flag since 1965 and the final scores, Essendon... The play again as it goes wide towards the, or over the half forward line for Hawthorne. There's the siren, siren to win the uh, game and uh, Essendon the premiers for 1985 winning two in a row. 26 goals, 14, 170 Essendon to Hawthorne, 14, 8, 92. Kennedy, opposed to Green, Green did a brilliant lead, there's the siren. Robert Walls is elated, with him is Wes Loss. Out of time, in the grand final. Hawthorne, their seventh premiership in emphatic style this afternoon. The dream of back-to-back -back pennants is all but there as far as the Hawks are concerned. There's the siren. Hawthorne have won it by six points. A heart stopper. Ladies and gentlemen, you've just seen that classic. Remaining. Evans may have the last kick in this grand final. The Eagles are going to win their first one. to the MCG and his second premiership. The Eagles are premiers for the second time in three seasons. Celebrations about to start for Carlton. Stafford, 
Pushed down towards Chapman. Couldn't pick it up cleanly. Sock it up the ground. There it is. North are champions. So there's nothing left now but to celebrate. century as the teams are beaten the new millennium as the time ticks down and the Kangas have won a fourth premiership well done Dennis Pagan you deserve everything you've got today and so does your club you could argue forever who is the best team of all time but as Jason said earlier this is the best season we've ever seen Kevin Sheedy joins Dick Reynolds as the most successful club in over a hundred years at this famous club. He's had seven marks, ten possessions, kicked two goals for it. done it. He's got the ball in his hands, Bruce. A bit of history here. Lee Matthews has been to the top of the mountain for a second time as coach. Once at Collingwood, and now he's done the impossible. Here's a go. Johnson with pace, carrying it to half forward. Nick Davis. Fraser makes the lead, it's all over! The Brisbane Lions are premiers again! They have gone back to back in one of the most memorable grand finals in VFL AFL history. It's on fire! Here it is! The Brisbane Lions have done it! The the Bombers, the Crows, they couldn't do it in the 80s and the 90s, but the Lions have gone back to back to back. Look at that. There it is. It's all over. Port Adelaide, they had the power to win, and it was very much history in the making today. Close to the line, it's hacked in, it's Rioli direction. Two seconds. Here we go, siren's about to sound. There it is! Oh, gee. The Hawks are premiers for 2008 in one of the most stunning upsets in recent grand final history. Looking it in the rook direction, and he can go back, and he can have a shot, and surely any score will do it now. Wonderful kick by Mooney. Vindication has arrived. They have won their second in three years. But what a fight it was. What a wonderful, grueling, magnificent fight it was. Goddard, the tap. Del Santo. It's going to be a draw. It's unbelievable. But it's happened. <laughs> Oh, 
So Collingwood win by their greatest ever margin in a grand final. It doesn't get better than that. Uh, the clock has ticked over the 30 minute mark now. Shaw drives it as long as he possibly can. There it is! Beyond a shadow of a doubt, the Cats proved themselves as one of the greatest teams of the modern era. Premierships 07, 09 and now 2011. Three and five years. A triple treat for a sensational football side. That's the Swans way. Smith can't quite get it. Buddy held up. Hannibury's been magnificent. Malcheski, two goals that he'll never forget. And they're home all right. They've done it. What a team. That culture, the bloods. That's what it's all about. An 11th premiership. Buddy may get the last touch. Dawson deprives him. They've done it. The best team all year. Last year so difficult for them. Back on top of the mountain. Couldn't quite. I want to shepherd it out of it anyway. But this great team, the best team of the modern era, of the last 50 years, produces its masterpiece. They've never been better than this. Gaff and Prittis. So Hawthorne have done it. The first team in the 18 team competition to go back to back to back. They're three Peters. They are remarkable. We'll kick virtually on the siren. He misses. But they don't miss out. Their day, their year, their joy. The Tigers are going to win the Premiership in 2017. The Tigers have got home for the first time in 37 years. Bouncing ball. They've got a brand new stadium, a big one, and they're going to put a big flag up there in a moment because the Eagle has landed for the Premiers in 2018. A second to go. The Tigers are premiers for the 12th time in their history. So, in a season like no other, as I said, Brian, the champions have been able to do what only the toughest and strongest could do in 2020. Every heart is beating true and blue for the red and blue. After 57 long years, the Demons are premiers in 2021. Extraordinary stuff. And McDonald kicks the ball. Brody Meyer check down the line. The Magpies and their massive army are going to win a record equaling 16th flag. How sweet it is! Collingwood win the grand final. 